Hello guys, we are a BSCPA for a student and for the completion of requirement for the subject advanced database system. For this part, we are going to show mapping the primary key and the foreign key. So, this is the output. So, for the first step, um, observe the mapping of the unique identifiers and the relation in the relation model. So, compare the logical model and the engineered relation model to verify. So, we just compare this logical model and the relation model. So, that's it. So, for the step 2, um, determine the abbreviation for table's name before the following steps. Open a spreadsheet. So, for this step 2, I already made a spreadsheet and it is saved in that .csv file. So, this is what it looks like. So, we are going for the step number 3. So, for step number 3, open the developer data again. You can set template keys for the indexes and constraints in the table or entity by using combinations of predefined variables. So, to define the name patterns, perform the following steps. So, right click the academic database. This is it, guys. Properties. And naming standards. Under naming standards, templates, and then, yep, it looks like it is being followed. So, click OK. And for the fourth step, uh -huh. to apply the template to the entire relational model, perform the following. Click the tools, name abbreviation. So, tools, name abbreviations. And then browse the file that you have saved in that CSV. So for us, we have saved it on desktop. That CSV open, and then okay. Yep, this one guys. So for the pip step, select how subtypes are generated in relational model. So to define subtypes. We'll close this one for now. So, to define how subtypes are mapped to the academic database relation model, perform the following. Click the logical tab. So, we are now on the logical tab. Double click the faculty super type entity to edit the properties. So, we just need to double click it. And then, um, from the sub tree generation, drop down option to select single table. Sub tree. We're going to find the sub. Sub three subtypes and then sub regeneration symbol table. So click OK. After it re engineer the relational model. I close this one. Gonna re engineer it. Engineer. So this is what it looks like, guys. So, I'm gonna adjust it a little bit. Okay. So, this is what it should look like. For the analysis, we have observed there are many ways to make a detailed ERD using the Oracle SQL. Although some parts of it was a little bit complicated, we managed to do it by exploring the software. So for the conclusion part, we have learned to make a simple academic database and master some ERD practices. That's all. Thank you.